Hi, my name is Julie Woodley, and um, this is Lynn Colazzo, and we've come to you today to talk about the program Arise and Shine. We're really glad to host it today for you. Um, mm -hmm. Nice to have you here, Lynn, with Thank us. You. I'm the founder and director of a ministry called Restoring the Heart. We work with various types of trauma, and um, God has done a very interesting job with this ministry. Um, he's taking so much of the trauma that I have been in as a child and as a young girl and um, now as a woman and use that trauma to turn around and help others. And um, it's so great to have Lynn here with us today. Um, she's experienced firsthand some of the work that we've done with the ministry Restoring the Heart. Um, and there's no mistake that we called it mis Restoring the Heart because um, I guess I so desperately needed to have my heart restored and my life restored from years of childhood sexual abuse from my father. Um, I was raised in the Rocky Mountains of Montana, a very beautiful, beautiful place to be raised, but there was an awful lot of pain in my home. And um, b beginning at a very young age, there was a lot of physical abuse. There was a lot of emotional abuse. And unfortunately, there was a lot of sexual abuse. And the reason, one of the great reasons that we've come here today to talk about that abuse is because, because unfortunately, it's rampant in our society and in other countries. Um, it's very interesting and, and sad that one out of every three women has been sexually abused by the time they're 18 years old. And um, sometimes um, we keep those secrets our whole life. And if we keep those secrets, often it will destroy our lives, it will destroy the people around us, it will destroy our children. And so that's why it's so very, very important to talk about the pain that we've experienced with various types of abuse. So that's what the ministry was, was founded on, was unfortunately my pain, but then more than that, the joy and the love and the restoration that God had brought into my life. I just, I just felt like if, if I can just help one person um, with what God has given me, then I felt like my life will be complete. Um, so yes, I was, had a lot of um, physical abuse, a lot of sexual abuse from my father and my brother and from other men. And um, what I did with that abuse was I became very promiscuous um, in my mind and in many, many young women's minds that have been um, sexually abused. I felt like that was the only way I was to receive love was when my father was sexually abusing me. He would say he loved me. He would touch me. That was the only way I experienced that kind of love from my father. So I became very sexually, um, I became very sexually addicted. I started becoming promiscuous, and um, in the mid-70s, I had one of the first, quote, legal abortions, which also really, really devastated my life. And please understand as well that um, there's many, many women out there that have had abortions. Um, also, statistics show that one out of every three um, women have had an abortion, Christian, non-Christian alike. Every abortion affects seven to nine people in dramatic, dramatic ways. Um, so as I began to heal from the pain of, um, actually I had had two abortions. Um, as I began to heal from that pain of those abortions um, and really understand the love of God for me and the love of God for those children that I had aborted, um, I began to see that God had a big plan for my life because there were so many out there that struggled with abortion wounds and sexual abuse wounds. So um, I went on to complete um, a master's in counseling and then I went on to, to um, I'm about two courses done from a master's of theology because I wanted to really see how the psychology and the theology could um, begin to fit together and I could begin to speak the word of God to others who have uh, been abused and have struggled with the pain of abortion. Um, so I'm so glad to have Lynn here with us today and would love for her just to share a little about, bit about her story. Okay. <clears throat> um, well, I went through the Wildflowers program. Um, um, the wild, I, Excuse uh, me. The Wildflower program is a DVD project that we created mm -hmm. on the trauma of, and healing of childhood sexual abuse. And the Wildflower Program is actually all over the United States and now in other countries. Um, it's a DVD program that helps people heal from those deep wounds and, um, and develop an intimate relationship with Christ. So go ahead. Right. I had come to the Lord about um, four years ago, and uh, I really was in a lot of pain and really came to the end of myself. I had made a 
complete mess of my life. And um, um, he started, of course, doing what God does, starts working on us from the inside out. And um, he started peeling the layers where I was uh, in my life. I was, um, like Julie said, I had become very uh, promiscuous. Um, I was married twice. I had acted out with, um, at a young age with um, smoking pot and drinking and getting involved with boys at a young age and getting married in abusive relationships. Um, I, I, I had several abortions myself. And um, I got finally to the end of myself and the pain was so great. And um, so when I came to the Lord four years ago and he started peeling the layers of where I was at at the time, um, he started showing me that the sexual abuse that I had as a child really did affect me, and I didn't believe that it did. Mm -hmm. I really was in denial about that, but um, all the behaviors I had, all my actions and behaviors uh, all stemmed from the roots of the pain from the childhood sexual abuse. Um, I was the ninth of 10 children, and I think I was about seven or eight and it was an uncle who uh, sexually molested me. I told my, my mother right away after it happened, but I guess um, at that time she really didn't um, know what to do, how to handle mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. uh, she became very angry, and it was more about the anger towards him than to comfort me or to um, you know, help me with my pain from it. Uh, so. For me, what I realized from the program was that I had a lot of beliefs were created at that time. Um, I remember when he would come over, I would have to leave the room. And um, I realize now what that did for me was um, make me think I had no worth or value. Mm -hmm. I learned what you know men like. Um, mm -hmm. I, that's why I started seeking attention from men at a young age. and. Um, there were so many lies in that, in that place, thinking it was my fault or um, I had no worth and value. He was more important than me. I, I learned to take responsibility of other people's um, issues. Mm -hmm. I took on the responsibility. So it's been a long, painful ride, but um, the Lord has been gracious in healing me from that, and this program has been a great tool for me. Uh, the Lord was talking to me this morning about um, self-protection, and I am finding all these ways that I, I try to self-protect myself, uh, putting up walls or um, not being intimate with others. And he's showing me that it stems because of the lack of trust from mm -hmm. when I was young. There was no trust uh, there, so it's sometimes hard for me to let down the wall to even trust God. Mm -hmm. So uh, he's really asking me to take that chance with him, and uh, that's where I am today. It's still there's still a lot of struggles that stem from mm -hmm. that. Uh, the the pain of the abortions, I I stuffed that, mm -hmm. and um, only until recently was I able to, um, because of something that Julie had said to me, how um, the shame from that was so intense, uh, the thought of, you know, what I did to these babies, mm -hmm. and it was only until now that I could actually um, know that they're in a good place with the Lord and that uh, they forgive me because mm -hmm. they're with the Lord and that, um, and that they're praying for me and it's mm -hmm. just a much better place. And for the first time I can acknowledge the pain from that and acknowledge the babies and actually love them because mm -hmm. I felt so much shame. Mm -hmm. So there's there's so much healing. There's mm -hmm. so much uh, pain and effects from from that abuse that mm -hmm. I really didn't believe affected me, and um, I'm just uh, so grateful for God being faithful and continuing the healing. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I think Lynn's so, so right in so many ways, but uh, shame is often a very common denominator in the 